Well, as you know, the credit unions are regulated provincially, and the regulators will review their vi financial statements, determine their um, you know, their solvency issues, and if in fact their um, capitalization is strong enough to support their continuation. And one of the things that they need in order to buy insurance brokerages is the capitalization. And if they don't have that, they can't expand and buy brokerages. The other side of the flip side of that is if the capitalization is not there, they need to find assets to divest themselves of. And of course, one of these assets would be the insurance brokerage division. And hence, we've seen sales in the industry because of that reason, because of the capitalization needs of the credit unions. And so, you know, some will be growing and others will be divesting. Um, I recently spoke with a credit union that has bought a number of brokerages outside of the province. They are headquartered in another province and they are actually stymied right now from expansion plans of acquiring more brokerages because they just don't have the capital and they have no way of tapping into new capital. So they're, they're basically on a holding pattern as they speak.